This video is brought to you by the annoying guy in front of you in line at Subway who doesn't know what he wants. It's been the same menu for years, man. Just pick something already. So I'm finally starting my sanctuary build. This is going to span over a few videos, but in this one, in case you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be starting with the marketplace. Now around this tree, I'm going to build a few vendor booths similar to Diamond City, where they're kind of small and crap, uh, scrappy looking. And to accomplish this, I'm going to use a mod called Thematic and Practical. It has a tab called Trading Emporium that gives us these really cool looking pieces that form an octagon around the tree. Right, that's a that's an octagon, isn't it? That's like a like a stop sign. Yeah, you know, you get it. It's like a circular design around the tree, which is exactly what I pictured when designing this. And by the way, this portion of the mod is really cool. It gives us pieces like cloth roofs that remind me of Diamond City, and there are a ton of variations of shops that snap on here, which you'll see in a little bit. I'm kind of I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's simmer down a little bit. Now, you don't have to have this mod to build this. You can do the same thing with Shack Foundations and a lot of items that you guys get from Unlock Settlement Objects if you're on PS4. It just won't be perfectly aligned like these are, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The different levels and alignment would actually give it a little bit more character. Anyways, this is pretty simple. I don't have to explain a lot of what I'm doing. I'm just snapping walls together. So while that's going, here's the idea I have behind this build. So I sided with the Minutemen who want to rebuild the Commonwealth, yeah? And part of the story with them, spoilers for those of you who haven't done like a single story mission in the game, really, it's like the third one. Anyways, we bring them to Sanctuary, and Preston's all like, Aw oh, man, sweet digs, bro. We could totally use a place like this to call home, you feel me? I'm paraphrasing, of course. And then starts the excessive hammering to give us the illusion that they are fixing these houses up and turning this place into home, but spoilers again, over a year later, nothing has been fixed. The houses don't gradually get better, but these sons of bitches are still hammering. Okay, this kind of went off the rails here, right? Okay, so my idea for Sanctuary. I want to build the Sanctuary that they're talking about. Way on down the road, they finally turn this into a proper settlement, like a second Diamond City, so I really want to do my best work in this build. As in, pay attention to all the smallest details and fill it up as much as I can while keeping it believable. And on top of that, I want to add in elements from every part of the game, like structures from every DLC. Nuka World, Vault Tech, Automatron, Far Harbor, all of them, and landmarks within the game like Red Rocket, the diner, and buildings that were designed based off of the real ones in Boston. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. But focusing back on the build, you saw clips of everything I built. Really the hardest part was deciding which objects to use. But I wanna point out a few things. So the shops from this mod act like stores, so you can actually assign settlers to them, which is pretty cool. You saw how easy it was to snap them onto the floors and then snap in doorways if you wanted. For the inside walls, notice how I mixed them up a good bit. I wanted to use a lot of different textures in there, and most importantly, I wanted at least a couple of sanctuary walls. And you can see that I used a blue wall and a yellow one from the mod that I ported over to Xbox, which I'll have a link to in the description if you haven't seen it. Adding in those walls make this part way more believable to me, because if they scrap some houses, they would use a lot of the pieces for something else, right? It, it makes sense. It's like Diamond City. Most of their structures are green because the ballpark has green walls on the inside, so they would use those resources. At least that's my interpretation of it. And if I'm wrong, then just, you know, just don't tell me. Just let me have this. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this part. I do change most of these stairs later on because I wanted to use a different one for each booth. But let's move on to the next building. So in this series, there's going to be a mixture of me building stuff and me showing you what I've built. Because some of this is very easy and it just saves a lot of time in the videos. But yeah, this is the diner. I placed down this concrete foundation that I got from Workshop Rearranged over top of the foundation that was already here. The dimensions are 4x5, except for over there by the bush since it wouldn't snap because it's a pain in the ass. But other than that, it's a pretty easy build. I used the master plan mod Bob's Iguana Diner for this. For those of you on PS4, don't worry, there is a mod that gives you these same pieces. It's called More Workshop Items. All of the mods that I use or reference will be linked in the description. But yeah, everything snapped together. I didn't have to do anything fancy with this. I just decided on the shape of the diner and built it. So if you're trying to recreate this, it should be very easy. 
Oh, I will note that the large part of the roof snaps to the top of the wider wall I used in front where the sign is. Uh, that kind of set me back a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty simple. And another note, keep in mind, none of this stuff is decorated yet. I mean, obviously. It's going to be a few videos of structures first, and then I'll do some on me decorating. The decorations are going to add so much to this build, so don't judge, you know, don't judge until you've seen the finished product. But alright, moving on to the last part of this build. Alright, so this last building is based off of the ones that you'll find all throughout the game. I know there are several around Diamond City and one in Jamaica Plains. Uh, these are the ones that look like they were designed from the historic buildings in Boston, right? I mean, you know, like the brick walls, the rounded corner, the thick trim around the entryway. I don't know. It looks very historic to me. So I wanted to build something like that in Sanctuary to keep the spirit of Boston within the settlement. And I'm going to use this for, you know, some kind of shop with two condos above it. I'm not sure what kind of shop just yet. Maybe a general store or something like that. I want to have shops like all around this area, not just the vendor booths around the tree. So I'm really going to fill this part up. And the way I'm going to do that is by building all the larger structures first and then little filler ones last. I find that is much easier for me because I end up filling in smaller gaps as opposed to trying to fit a larger structure in somewhere. So like with this build, I can easily find a way to fit in say a boxcar or a capsule right next to it. But yeah, up here are my condos. One has a huge bay window in the corner and the other has a pretty nice balcony. I, I built this using the mod Snappy Builds, which is a great mod. They added so much to it since the last time I reviewed it. Definitely worth checking out if you can. Oh, and PS4 users, the mod More Workshop Items has all of these walls and floors that you can use to build this exact same thing. But all right, I'm gonna do a quick tour of what we built here with a little bit of decoration. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Give this video a like, it definitely helps me out a lot, or so I'm told. Also, I have a link to another one of my videos that YouTube thinks is best suited for you to watch, so definitely check that out. And last, if you would like to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button to the right where it says subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.